Uh, what is it with these Reddit and 4chan leaks? Like, half of them are probably fake. But now that they're everywhere, I may as well let you know about them and let you have your own thoughts just in case they're real or whatever. Now, this one, I'm not entirely sure about. It's a Reddit AMA from an unknown user who's deleted their account. And they've essentially been supposedly leaking information so we're going to take a look at what's said see if it lines up see what we think sort of thing i also need to upload a video because i want money as you can see i am here on the ama leak blur as a lot of people may have seen a leaker with a newly made account did an ama with the community today and answered a lot of questions i've copy pasted the answers responses in a text file which i now can quote them and the user has deleted their account thread after the AMA ended. Obviously this is all unconfirmed stuff, but we are on the internet where anyone can write anything. So take everything you read here with a big grain of snow with a little grain of salt. A big grain of salt is a bit more significant. I'm doing this mostly so we can compare the announcement reveals to what we got from this leak. Here's what the leaker said. Can we stop using the word leaker please and start using the word leaker in inverted commas? Which is just put inverted commas there because you don't know. First trailer on Friday will be reveal trailer. First gameplay at E3 and a CGI trailer. Charlotte will be the modern day protagonist. Barlak is a Rift character and Shed is the main character. Desmond will be in the game, maybe not the way you would imagine. What the fuck does that mean? Desmond's dead. Ha! Desmond is dead. Leave him that way. Greece was cut from the game. Uh, yeah, I heard something about this because apparently Greece was they wanted to make a trilogy out of it. The story has 11 sequences, will last around 20 hours. The map is three times the size of Black Flags, will have Egypt plus the Mediterranean Sea. Assassin's Creed Origins is the official trailer title of the new game. The game will take place in Roman Egypt, but will have smaller rifts that take place way before that. The rifts are going to be comparable to the one in Syndicate and will be closed open worlds. The main campaign takes place in 100-200 AD Roman Egypt. The combat is a slightly better version of Witcher 3, will be more tactical than previous AC titles, 5% old animations, 95% new animations. Parkour is really smooth compared to other AC games, it will be awesome. Graphically, the game is really good, but not as good as Horizon, etc. There will be sailing. Gameplay mechanics will be closer to Unity. When asked about Juno, the leaker repeats, expect the unexpected. Ballad and Sh Balek, or what and Shed have something in common. The leaker can't confirm all of the things on the 4chan leak, but maybe some of the things changed over the development process. Release date is set for the 31st of October 2017. There are two main characters, but not in the same way as Syndicate, maybe refers to a historical and modern day protagonist, or two historical characters from different eras. Leaker really likes the story, says it will potentially blow our minds, and again repeat to expect the unexpected. Can't reveal any information about his identity. Reveal trailer will show setting, short modern day look, character is introduced. The cities take around 40% of the game world, the biggest city will be like Rome and AC Brotherhood. That's quite big. There will be a rift during the Napoleonic Wars, but we won't play as Arno. The combat system is all about parry mechanism. Modern day will play like Assassin's Creed 3, but will be larger and more interactive. In terms of hours, it will be around 10% of the main story. A second game in Greece is fixed. Soft reboot is a pretty good here. Prepare for to see some old faces. So we're going to see some old modern faces probably. Maybe some faces in rifts. You never know. That stuff is that that's interesting. But this is all all taken with a pinch of salt, remember. When asked about Tomb Exploration, the leaker said it would be better than Brotherhood and Revelations. I highly doubt that. Outfit customization is pretty much like Unity. Trilogy still isn't confirmed. Charlotte will have a new assassin surrounding her as a team. Leaker claims he's aware of four rifts at the moment. Pet Eagle confirmed? Question mark. Um, speech marks with a winky face in it. The Pet Eagle. Oh, like that. That, I, mean, I don't. I, I don't want a drone mechanic. Just saying. I've seen it everywhere. Drone mechanic. It makes me want to stab the world. Can't say anything about side activities. The leaker's priorities were story, combat, and stealth mechanics. Again, mentions the combat is Witcher Three like, but slightly better and more impactful. There will be no wall running in the game. There will be one male and one female character as protagonists. There will be NPCs that can recruit like in previous titles, like so like recruits and stuff. That's uh, 
I don't know if I believe all this. Is Eagle Vision still in the game or is the Eagle Mechanic taken over? Answer, it is in the game, but says there are some question marks about the game that takes play. It's in the third game of the trilogy, which is apparently why it isn't confirmed to be a trilogy yet. At this point, just, is it in the game, but, dot, dot, dot. Is that the answer? Uh, of course it is. Says there will be a stronger story elements of the ones that came before. Isu, movement will be like more fluent and before no movement enhancements like hook blade or rope launcher alexandra will be one of the cities we can visit we won't be able to pet animals why again repeats that there will be 11 sequences 20 hour main story and around 10 percent modern day it was kind of hard of us to do good parkour in cities but yeah in a way there are when asked if the cities will be good for parkour or just for tombs collectibles will be a mix of story law related and Collectibles for the sake of collectibles. Leaky says the soundtrack reminds them of the good old days. Remember AC2? Question mark. Great emission variety, Leaky says. They enjoyed it. Game is newcomer friendly, but the modern day is not that easy for newcomers. But a pretty good way, I would say. New combat engine says we will love it. Three skill trees and five different types of weapons. When asked to mention a historical character, Leaky says Antonius Pinus. You will get to see the origins of the Assassin Templar conflict. When asked about a better he healing mechanic, better, don't know, way more realistic, yes. No British actor. Oh, thank I hope that. I hope. Uh, I don't care about the rest of it, but I hope that that's, that's the case. I hope that that's the case, because, come on, that's a bit ridiculous. Can we recruit Assassins again? Hmm, kind of. Boat game gameplay is really easy and smooth, only one button and the stick are needed. Classic version of the hidden blade and will only be able to use a single blade. Leaker says he'd love to have Jesper Kid back. I might have missed some questions, says this guy who's done this, which was very helpful. Uh, now, I suppose I should be giving my thoughts, shouldn't I? So, these things are showing up all over the place. These Reddit leaks, these 4chan leaks, and everyone's going, Oh, I think this is real. Ah! Now, do I think do, this is believable? Is this one specifically believable? Uh, I don't see any reason why it's not, you see, and why somebody would clearly, repetitively go on this joyride with the AC community. Like, I mean, it's fun to troll people, I know that, but I reckon that this guy is the same one who's leaked a couple of things before because of how they've sort of gone about it, how they've worded things before. For example, how they've deleted their account soon after they've said it, sort of things like that. That's the sort of stuff that makes me think this is coming from the same person as the other ones. Not necessarily all of them, some of them are complete bollocks, that I'm not going to pretend that's not the case. But I feel as if there is at least some reference in there, like you feel as if this is from some guy that we've seen before. Because not everybody at Ubisoft's going to go, Oh, I'm going to go leak the next Assassin's Creed game. Ah, Yeah, it's not going to happen. So, although I do want to believe some of this, although I do think some of it is plausible, believable, just like the fact that I have a monobrow, there's no evidence there to suggest that it's real or not, and thus it needs to be taken with a pinch of salt. Which is why when people publicise this like shit, on the subreddit loads of Assassin's Creed fans are seeing it thus resulting in me making a video here because I wanted to I wanted to you know I suppose I wanted to give my take on it do I do I think it's fake I didn't say that I think it's fake I'm not saying that I think it's real all I'm saying is there's no evidence to prove that it's real there's nothing there that says that it's fake it could very well be either and if it is real we'll find out on Friday it's that simple